Okay, let's talk about gas speeds. The first thing to remember and review for this test is that gases at the same temperature have the same kinetic energy. So they will all be hitting the walls just as hard no matter if they're big or small. Same kinetic energy. However, having a, the similar kinetic energies does not mean the same speed. If you were to get hit by a small child, that child could do just as much damage to you as a big sumo wrestler if the child was going very, very fast and the sumo wrestler was going slow. So what we know is that at the same temperatures, the big molecules go slow and the little ones go fast. Find the ones that have the smallest molar masses. They're gonna be going the fastest. So keep that in mind if you're solving conceptual problems. If I asked you to compare H2 to O2, H2 has a molar mass of two. O2 has a molar mass of 32, two. The H2 will be traveling the fastest. You're gonna have to solve problems like that. Now the other type of problem you're gonna need to solve is a mathematical comparison of speeds. If we're gonna do a mathematical comparison, we need to use Graham's law of effusion. It looks like this. V1 over V2 is the square root of molar mass two over molar mass one. Now, I wrote it like this with V1 over V2. You can equally well write it V2 over V1, but then you need to put molar mass one over molar mass two. Notice the things that are related to each other, the ones are diagonally aligned. The twos are diagonally aligned. They're not on the same levels. So mostly this is gonna be a plug and chug if you know how to set it up. So let me show you a couple of examples to remind you how to do a plug and chug type of problem. Example number one, which noble gas would diffuse approximately half as fast as neon? I'm gonna go ahead and make a little T-chart right here. I've got two gases. I have one gas that's neon, and then I have some unknown gas. For each of these, I need to know something about the velocity and the molar mass. I know the velocity, I sorry, I know the molar mass of neon happens to be 20 grams per mole. I looked it up on the periodic table. I also know that if I can find the molar mass of this unknown gas, I can look it up on the periodic table and see which gas it is. So that's my question. Now, this is the tricky part. I need to know that my gas is half as fast as neon. Neon is twice as fast as my gas or my gas is slower. Since my gas is slower, I know it's bigger. It's better be bigger than 20, my answer. Now, as far as variables go, all I need to do for those velocities is make up any two velocities where my gas is half as big as neon. The easiest numbers to make up, two and one. My gas is half as fast or neon is twice as big. Now I'm gonna go ahead and assign one of these V1s and one V2, it does not matter who is which. So I'm gonna call these one V1, MM1, V2, MM2, and I'm gonna plug this into my equation. V1, two over V2, one, is the square root of MM2, I don't know it, over MM1, which is 20. Okay, now what do I do? Unfortunately, my variable is buried inside a square root. I need to get rid of my square root. So the way to get rid of a square root, we just square both sides. If we square both sides, two squared is four. One squared is one, I'm not even gonna write that. That equals, if I square a square root, it just gets rid of it. So now I have mm over 20. To get the second molar mass, I'm gonna go ahead and cross multiply, bring my 20 up or multiply both sides by 20, however you wanna say it. Then your molar mass is gonna be four times 20 or the molar mass of your unknown gas is going to be 80 
grams per mole. And I think if you look it up on the periodic table, that's Krypton. So that is one way you might see this problem. Let's look at another example just to brush off those cobwebs. This problem says, compare the speed of sulfur dioxide to the speed of methane, CH4. Okay, so how do we compare speeds? Well, let's make a T-chart. We have two gases. One of them is SO2, the other is methane. What am I gonna need for them? If I'm doing speeds, I know I'm gonna rely on Graham's law. I know I'm gonna need velocities for each and molar masses for each. As far as molar masses, I could just get that right away. I'm just gonna look that up on the periodic table. Sulfur is 32. Two more oxygens is another 32. The molar mass of SO2 is 64. Um, CH4. Well, a carbon is 12 and four more is 16. So I have a molar mass of 16. Now I need to compare the velocities, but I don't have any velocities. If they ask you to compare the velocities, perhaps the easiest thing to do is pick a number that's easy to compare to, one. Pick a number that's one and call that your slowest velocity. And then the faster one might be two times bigger, three times bigger, four times bigger. The slower one out of the two of them, the slower one's the bigger one. The bigger one, I'm gonna give a tiny velocity and let's find the velocity of CH4. So we need to go ahead and assign these to ones and twos. So I'll call this V1, MM1, V2, MM2. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my data. V1 is one over V2 is my question. That is equal to the square root of MM2, 16, over MM1, which is 64. Okay, one over V2 is the square root of 16 over 64. Well, that's just a number. 16 divided by 64, is 0 0.25 like this. Now, 0 0.25 is a number. I can take the square root of 0.25, no problem. I'm just gonna hit square root and type in 0.25. So one over V2 is, if I have second square root 0.25, I should get 0.5 and I get 0.5, 0 0.5. Now I'm almost there. See, the problem is V2 is on the bottom. I need it to be on the top. You have a couple of options. You can cross multiply. The V2 comes up, the 0.5 comes down. V2 is one over 0.5. Or you could have two ratios. One over V2 is the same as 0.5 over one. Flip them upside down. So if I flip this upside down and I flip this upside down, then I get V2 is one over 0.5. Both ways give me the same thing. Now, one divided by 0.5 is one over a half. One divided by 0.5, one over a half is two. So V2 is two. I come over here, V2 is two. V2 here, CH4 is twice the speed of SO2. CH4 is smaller, it's faster, it's twice the speed of my sulfur dioxide. I hope that helps. Keep practicing, try those Graham's Law practice problems, and good luck on your test.